Hey guys, this is in phase and I'm back again with uh, the third installment in my series of cool applications for S60 5th edition on the Samsung i8910. So the first application that I'm going to look at today is the quick application for Symbian. So this is a video streaming uh, application. So this is the basic interface. So you basically have your camera and you know options to 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 um, stream and so you can change the resolution of the videos that you stream. So I'm just going to do a live demonstration of this right here. So um, I have downloaded this quick application for for the desktop. So this is what the the application looks like. Um, you know, it's a free application that comes with the quick uh, product. So I'm just gonna demo it live here. So basically you set up a quick account and then you're able to stream stuff directly from your mobile phone. So the first thing you need to do right here is go online, which is what I'm going to do. Then it connects to your wireless network. Okay, so it's connected. So signed in as in phase. So my you get a, a an address with with that as well. So here it, it wants to sync some items that I recorded before. So I'm just going to do a live demonstration. So this is the the web interface and this is the device. So I'm just going to press on stream right now. So immediately after you begin to stream, it starts to show. So I'm just going to quit the application very quickly. So Okay, so there's a bit of feedback going on there, but you get the 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 gist of it. So it works um you can use it online and you know, you've got you get a URL when you sign up. So my URL is quick.com/inphase and you know, you can stream stuff directly from your mobile to the world. So you've got several options. You can um, do things like change the resolution as I've, as I've main, mentioned. You can stream to the public or to certain private users. So it's a really great streaming application for a 65th edition. So the next application that I'm going to demo is the IMDB widget for um, for Symbian. So it's, it's basically the movie database uh, IMDB and you have this simple interface where you can search either by the actors or the movie. So I'm just going to do a quick demo. Just search for, for something here. Uh, say The Matrix. So search the movie. Yes. So it's a really simple widget that just basically um, formats uh, stuff from the IMDB database for you so you have several options um, you know it pulls up like here it's pulled up uh, you know several of the matrix movies the matrix and you know the extra results as well and you know you get all the information like the actors and everything you know so it's, it's a really really cool application for anyone who's into movies so the next application that I'm going to look at is hip logic which is a home screen application so it's it's basically uh, an application that uh, that provides an al alternative home screen to the default one that you get on Symbian so this is the basic interface um, you get you know you can customize a wallpaper here so here I'm in I'm in the stocks application so you know it's a plain application so it can work as well in uh, landscape so I think for the video I'll do that so you have this little menu over here and you can choose um, which applications you want to run. So these are the basic applications. So here I selected the clock application. You know, it's a basic application. You can't really move it around or anything. Um, you also have things like weather bug as well built in. So, you know, it pulls weather and you can add, you know, different cities and things like that. So here it's, you know, London, four degrees, man, they're having a nightmare there. So. You know, you've, you've also got, uh, you know, several settings that you can play around with. And it's also got applications. 
So this is like a basic, uh, I don't know if you saw that animation over there, which is pretty neat. So you've got uh, basic applications. So some of the, the applications are, you know, specialized uh, mobile applications. You can swipe across, you know, it has some of the applications that you have in your device. For example, calendar launches, you know, into your calendar, default calendar application. Uh, you know, but then if you go to something like uh, Times, it launches the Times mobile application. So these applications are all free and they come, you know, built in. So it's got a bit of uh, some haptic feedback going on as I'm scrolling. It also interestingly has an app store where you, where um, you have several applications as well that are there. So. So this is this is the App Store. So it's got you know featured applications and stuff. Um, you can go, you can browse the App Store. A lot of all the free applications are basically included with the UI. Um, you don't have to download them or anything. It's the paid applications that you can get here. So I haven't actually bought any of these applications. Uh, you know, but you know it's a really cool. Widget. It's a really cool uh, home screen application. Uh, it's free to download and uh, I've got links for that in the description. So the next application that I'm going to show you is called vMenu. So it's it's a menu application that does a little bit more. So it has a task manager. So you hold, you know, normally when you hold the menu button, you'd expect to see that 3D task manager, but this is the task manager that comes out. So I'm just going to exit this application by simply taking it, um, taking the application from this tray that comes along and just sliding it to the exit button. So that's, you know, how simple it is to, so it replaces the default task manager. So I'm just gonna go into the V menu. So this is the menu. It basically has, has an iPhone like grid uh, system where you can scroll across your application. So it just pulls all the, uh, the applications and puts them into this uh, uh, five by three grid. So, you know, you can quickly access your, your, your uh, applications almost uh, like the iPhone type uh, and it also comes with a with an application store which has a lot of the free applications that I'm showing in this video so like the apps uh, so you know the applications are arranged in categories and it's it's pretty cool how it uh, installs the applications it's very uh, it's very streamlined and very well organized so I'm just gonna demo installing this application tweet 60 so just press the download button and then on the top here it just says it just shows like uh, the progress of in the installation so it downloads it, it it installs it and it's already there you know there are no prompts no the perfect menu replacement uh, for the Samsung i8910 and other S65 edition devices so the next application that I'm going to demo is the e-reader application e-reader pro so it's available across multiple devices and it's a free reading application. So the idea is to get you to download this application so that the, the owners of their e-reader books can can get you to download their books. So it comes with, uh, you know, two books, Around the World in 80 Days and The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. So I'm just going to show you a demonstration of um, what the book reading experience is like. So you know it makes great use of the AMOLED display you know it's easy on the eyes you know you just swipe uh, for to go across your book you've got a bar on top here that shows you the progress your reading progress uh, and a timer actually that for flipping pages uh, which is pretty pretty nice pretty neat uh, so it's a basic reading application you can throw in uh, your ebook read your ebooks there and you can easily read them without a problem so that's all for today. Uh, this is Enphase from Enphase.com. So for the latest updates, uh, news and happenings for all sorts of technology, Samsung i8910 uh, and other developments, just check out my website, Enphase.com. Subscribe, rate, comment. Cheers.